So, hi guys, and today I am going to be showing you how to make LPS channel art. So, you go to Safari, I know you can see that. Click on Google, and you go to Google, and you click LPS. I mean, it's kind of hard to see it there, but there's all of these images on the LPS. So, right now I was looking up foxes. So I'll just look up regular LPS. And there's a whole bunch of them, like so many. So I think that today I'm going to be doing, hmm, I'll do this cat right here. Okay, so you go ahead, you click it, and you um, put to and I know you can't see it well, but you um, you have to save it to your computer. And then you go um, back to Google again. And you click. Um, I'm going to do pretty because I like, like pretty wallpaper. But um, you can do whatever you want. So I'm doing pretty wall. Paper. Okay, and then click images, and there's a whole bunch, like just like the LPS. There's a ton. Like, okay, so this time I think I might do this. Hmm. Actually, this one right here. Okay. Then you. Also, go ahead and again and you save it to your computer, and then you go to this site that is called pixlr.com. And you go down and you click Pixlr Editor. Now you click Create New Image. I know you can't see it well, I'm sorry. Um, but you go, just trust me, this says, like, United and all that stuff. It's random, like, you don't need to click anything. So this, yeah, it's where I'm focused now. So you go up and you click Layer, and then you go Open Image as Layer. And I have tons of these, so I need to... I need to go all the way to find my wallpaper. There it is right there. So you click open and then there it is. So that mine looks kind of weird and big. So I'm going to edit free transformation. And you make it smaller and then you go up and make it the exact right size you want, need it to be. So I'm going to... Push this to the side a little bit and up. And then there you have your um, click outside of the box and it says, do you want to apply changes? Yes. So then you want your LPS. So you go to layer again, open image as layer. In my, my one is right here. So you click open. And there she is, she's right there. So I'm gonna get the wand tool right here, the little wand. And I'm gonna click the white stuff. And then I go ahead and I start to do it. So this is what I do. So I get my eraser, click the erasing tool. And I can do all of this, like, just get all of that in there. And if you mess up like that, then you just click edit and un go down one and undo. So see, you see that I messed up a little bit. So I'm going to start from the beginning because she's white and it's hard to tell her. So if it's too big, you go down like that. Now I think I'm going to like a 20. Just click outside of it. And you do easily outlines so you don't get it you do easy outlines 
and then um you keep going and this is going to take me a while so you can skip this part if you want to but um so i'm gonna have to like And then you just keep going along with it, like all smoothly, and the background will start to pop up so you can get all the yucky stuff off. So I was thinking this is too small, we'll go to 25. Okay, and then we will just, you know, like clear all the white stuff out, just whatever you need to do. And... You should clean the access too. I mean, there's a little bit of white, like cause it's always shiny. So I really like to do this. Um, and again, I'm sorry for how long it's taking me. So I'm gonna do a bigger brush, maybe a 30. Okay. Um, and you don't have to do exactly what I did. I mean, you can do any animal in any pattern you want, but I just wanted to do this one because it looked cute to me personally. Okay, and once you're done, you go ahead and you, ooh, silly. Um, so you go ahead and you'll click this tool up here. And what I like to do is just move it away and you get so move her away and then you get rid of this all this stuff so and then you click the this tool the dragging tool again and I think I'm gonna go edit free transformation because I think she's a little bit too big so Put them to the size you want them. And perfect. And then there's this. And then you have to click this. Or else you'll, you'll have to click like this button up here. Or else it'll make you start over. And then up here where my mouse is. Like that's where the Pixlr was. So I go ahead. And I type in cooltext.com and it gives you all these fun, like, all these really fun kind of words that you can say anything with. So I think that I'm going to, since it's like a very pretty, but you want to make sure that it'll, you can see it. So... I'm going to go ahead and go, and I think that um, whatever you want is fine, it, but you have to be able to see it. So I'm going to do happy joy. And then you type in whatever you need to type. So like, I'm going to type um, LPS coffee beans since that's my name oops it says OPS so my name is OPS coffee beans so I'm gonna type that in and you can do a little catchphrase if you want even so you click enter and what the heck is going on with this OPS thing so um you do that, and then you go down, and if you want, you can do a catchphrase. And you, I'm going to do where dreams are made. Okay, so once you're done typing that in, so it needs to be all the way done. Okay, so then you click create logo. And then you click download image. And the whole thing 
might it'll pop up so you click the yellow one and then you go and you click download image again just in case because you want the whole thing to work so there you go and you go back to the cooltext.com and there it is right there so you click outside the box yes and then you go to layer open image as layer and then you type in search cool and then there's the cool text that you got and since this is like really big I'm gonna make it free transformation so I'm gonna shrink it down really tiny and then I'm gonna like this little white thing needs to be in the middle and you go and you spread it out the way you want it and I think that's how I want mine so I'm gonna click outside the box again and I know it's hard to see but you click yes and then obvious coffee beans where dreams are made so then you go up to layer again and you click flatten image and then you go to file and and you click save and then it says united right there and you have to name it so i'm gonna say channel channel art kitty cat because she's a cat so so um that's what you have to do and then um and then you go down and make the 80 percent to a hundred percent and then you can't see it that well but you go down a little bit and you click okay and then you go back up again and it says the title that you typed in which mine was channel r kitty cat jpg Let's click save and then it is saved to your computer so um you click x and um leave page and then this is what happens so um i hope that helped you knowing how to make channel art and i hope i see you soon i love you my delicious coffee beans bye